the woman who's jailed be when she has like a ch child and a breastfeeding kid because she called a trans woman a man, she shouldn't have been jailed. It's ma'am. You saw that video too? Yes, I did. Now is that a slur? I'm making fun of that oh, guy. Oh no, no, no. I feel like trans women aren't oppressed. Well, he feels that way. Yeah, they feel he that does. way. They're, they're, they're language but they're laws. But they're white men. For the most part. What if it's a black transgender? Who wins the oppression Olympics if it's a black transgender with rickets? <laughs> Time for some bonus footage from the recent Change My Mind at UT Austin. Now remember, this Change My Mind setup was a bit different. We first let the students debate on a number of different topics, but I did eventually sit down with some students myself in the more traditional format, as you'll see here. Since the 4th of July is right around the corner, I wanted to include this conversation with Elise about why America is superior to all other countries. Watch, enjoy, and let me know in the comments section below what it is that you believe makes the United States the greatest country in the world. Happy 4th. All right. What's your name? I'm Elise. Elise. I'm sorry to hear that you were hit by a scooter. Yes, I was. Earlier. Not fun. So we weren't even discussing this today. We just didn't happen to have the Build the Wall poster. Uh, but it seemed like you were passionate about this. I do stand by it. I do believe that the United States is the greatest country in the world. Um, and if you disagree with me, you're, you're more than welcome to change my mind, Elise. Okay, I will say I do think America is great. I just think there are some things that make it not the greatest in the world. Maybe on par with some other countries, but not greater than them. Okay, so which countries would you say are greater than the United States and why? Uh, probably countries that have universal health care and stuff like that. Okay. I feel like that's a big issue with America. So like, could you name me some countries? Like Canada and England and stuff. <laughs> What happened? Did someone throw something at you? No, they started laughing. Oh, that's okay. That happens. I know. Usually when I say something dumb. Yeah, so it's okay. Uh, so Canada or the UK? Yes. You believe that they, or, or did you say Canada or England specifically? Uh, I said UK basically. Okay. Yeah. So, and, and all of those, uh, they're in. Talking about basically, any countries? Yeah. Okay. You believe they're better than the United States? Not better, but I think the US is on par with them. I don't think any of them are greater than, like, the other because okay. I feel like I mean I just don't think America can be called the most superior country on earth when people are dying because they can't afford medication uh, I do <laughs> yeah for a couple of reasons not only because our health care is better than those countries by the way did you know that I'm Canadian I was raised in Montreal oh nice so uh, you know the death the death rates the survival rates of serious diseases in these uh, in these countries particularly in the UK seven times higher if you have a serious disease or being in an emergency room than it is in the United States the wait times depending on the uh, parameters that you use can be anywhere from two times as long to four times as long um, the healthcare outcomes are not better in these countries and by the way they're largely beholden to us providing national security effectively for the whole world because they don't have to burden that cost so not only do I believe that um, obviously our healthcare system is flawed but not only do I believe that our healthcare system is superior to those countries, particularly the country uh, from which I migrated to Canada to the United States, uh, but there would be another reason outside of healthcare. Let's assume that healthcare were better in those countries. Um, freedom is a big one. How can a country be better than the United States if they don't allow freedom to their citizens? I don't think America really allows freedom to their citizens either all the way. Because once, once you've committed a crime, your rights are stripped from you. Right. But we, we do uh, assume that everyone, we give everyone, grant everyone, sorry, not give, we don't give any rights, we grant um, or recognize is the term I should use here, I want to pick my words very carefully, recognize God-given rights to human beings here in this country that no other country recognizes. Namely, uh, freedom of speech is a big one. That doesn't exist in those countries that you just mentioned. Is that not a biggie? I feel like freedom of speech is very important. But at the same time, it's like, this is getting into the whole like freedom of speech, hate speech thing, right? Like, No. No, I mean like with freedom of speech being an important thing. I feel like there are s certain things that are like more important than others. Okay, so what's more important than the First Amendment? Well. What rights are more important than the, than the freedom of assembly, uh, the free freedom of speech, freedom of the press? What rights would you say are more important for a government to recognize? The right to life. Okay, that's also something that we recognize. Yes, but not entirely. If you're, if there, if you are too broke, then a par then America just doesn't recognize your right to life. They might say they do, but then it's you can't afford insulin. Okay, you're gonna die now. 
you can't afford this medical procedure, okay, you're going to die. Right. I think um, you're misunderstanding here the difference between rights and commodities. Right? You have the right to live. You have the right to seek the best health care possible for yourself. You do not have the right to force someone else to provide you with health care. You do not have the right to have somebody else create, invest, go through red tape and FDA approval process, study, become a doctor, go to medical school, get hundreds of thousands of dollars into debt, and force them to provide you with medical uh, procedures or drugs simply because you can't afford them. That is not a right. That's a good. That's a commodity. But that's the thing is I think that should be a right. You should have the right. doesn't mean that it is. You should have the right, but that's exactly what I'm saying, though. That's why America is not superior, the most superior, because they don't see that as a right. Sure, but we do see... See, I would say this, and maybe we just won't be able to agree. Um, freedom of speech, to me, is more important. I think that's a much more valuable fundamental right than forcing somebody else to give me free health care. you disagree with that? Well, I feel like... Because I do feel like freedom of speech is an amazing thing. It's great that we're able to sit down and talk and have debates on whatever we want because we have that right. Right. But at and the it doesn't exist in these other countries. We wouldn't be able to do this. But I do believe like there's just a huge flaw in the fact that people are dying because they cannot afford things. But more people are dying in these other countries because their healthcare systems are worse. But the mortality rates, the survival rates of diseases like cancer, terminal diseases, not to mention the diseases that are not being cured in these other countries, the major, uh, major treatments are coming out of the United States because of medical innovation and research which doesn't occur, occur under a socialized system. So if you're talking about people dying because of health care, more people are dying because of lack of access to good care under socialized health care systems than the United States. No system is perfect, but are you willing to give up? your freedom of speech, your Second Amendment rights, but let's just go with freedom of speech, you're willing to give that up for a worse healthcare outlook overall, provided that it's uh, given to you at gunpoint by another taxpayer? If I wasn't allowed to say certain things, like if I wasn't allowed to, I feel like there are things that people shouldn't be allowed to say. Okay. Is the thing. Uh, that, that, that's so you my don't stance. support the first. So freedom of speech is not necessarily something to support. Now this. Okay. I don't necessarily support people. People shouldn't be allowed to say. Uh, like people shouldn't be able to say. Do not say fire in a crowded theater, please. I mean, like that. Yeah, definitely not. But okay. that is technically like that incites a riot. Like that's already not. Like you could already get in trouble for saying yes, that. Yes. Like, that's not because of speech. That's because it's a lie. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like people shouldn't be able to, like, we already have restrictions on freedom of speech here. You're not allowed to incite violence against people. Like, it's, like, that's not a restriction. Or, not of that. It's like, in a crowd, you're not allowed to, like. You're trying to think of an example that's not saying fire, aren't you? No, I'm not. That's, but. That's what everyone says. I'm trying to think of. You're not, you shouldn't be allowed to, like, I shouldn't be allowed to go around calling people the N-word. Why that's, not? Because that's a slur. Like, sure. that's a, that's not something sure. I should be allowed to say. Why not? Because that's an offensive word. That's a slur. That's like, an offensive word, absolutely. Someone just called me a f***ing idiot. <laughs> right? Should, should I be able to have these guys haul them away in cuffs? Well, no, I don't think cuffs is, that's a, that's... Well, what do you do? What do you mean you shouldn't be allowed to say it? What should the ramifications... By the way, people shouldn't walk around calling black people the N-word, okay? I don't want, I think we both agree on that. But you said people shouldn't be allowed to. I think there should Why be Why not? Like, because that's just, that's not okay, like... It's not nice. So what would you do to someone who uses the N-word? What should be done? There should be like a small fine or something, like, to like, deter them from saying that. Like, people shouldn't be allowed to call me a like, that's a slur. I think people should be allowed to. I think it's mean. It's a word that's been used to oppress lesbians for, like, years. Like, that's a... Like, it shouldn't be allowed to... Be, you shouldn't be allowed to call a gay person a it. That's, like, not okay. Why not? Because... Saying it's not okay or that it's wrong or that it's offensive doesn't it's not, mean that it's not a right. It's like those words have been used in oppressing these people for like a very long time. Okay. It's kind of like, it's, 
those well, for people example, yeah, pe people who were in position, the N word, people who were in position, I want to make sure that I, we understand and kind of save us some time. For example, with the N word, people in positions of power, not only plantation owners, but people in government, right, who supported slavery in positions of power, use the N word as a way to um, degrade and assert their power over black people, That's right? Correct. Yes. Okay. So these are people in government, people in positions of authority who use this term. Um, why would you want to grant the right to legislate language to well, people in positions of power or authority? I just feel like you're giving you that power away the to the right. patriarchy. Those words specifically dehumanize people. Sure, but is the point the is, someone is going to be determining what language is allowed or not, right? You want to give that right over to the government. Maybe not. You want Donald government. Trump to determine no, what you can No, I don't want gonna... Donald Trump. Okay, I don't so even the next think guy. Donald Trump should be the president. But... Well, who cares? So the point I is. I feel like that's part of why America isn't superior is because of Trump. But, but the point is, right but... now, it's going to go straight to the top. You want him in, in charge of language? No, I feel like it should be like a national vote. Like, that's what I think. So, do you believe that all rights come from a national vote? <laughs> well, no. But okay. I feel like certain things should. Well, okay, let me give, give you this as an example. Um, in these other countries like Canada where I come from, you have comedians who've been jailed for offensive jokes. Uh, there's actually a friend of mine named Mike Ward uh, who was put before Human Rights Tribunal and I believe fined $150,000 or $50,000 for a joke that offended a kid from a Make-A-Wish Foundation. You have people who are arrested left and right in Europe. Um, in the UK there was a man who was actually, I believe, fined because he was doing a cover of Kung Fu Fighting at a karaoke bar and an Asian person said that it was offensive to him. When you have the government determining what language is and is not acceptable, that's a very dangerous precedent to set. Where's the line? What you find offensive might not be offensive to someone else. What someone else finds offensive, who may be in power for those four years, may be completely acceptable to you. Why, should, why would you support giving that right over to the government? Furthermore, most movements, civil rights movements, the LGBT movement, right, the gay pride movement, these movements have been created by people who would be presumed to be underclass or the oppressed, right? And they did it through language. They did it nonviolently. They got legislation passed. Why would you want to strip them of their language or grant the authority to the government to strip minorities of their language? That's the... I'm saying that we should make it to where people that aren't of the minority can't call the people of the minority slurs against that minority. But minorities and majorities change all the time, right? That's the whole point to a constitutional republic, to protect the rights of the minority from a majority. Anytime you grant the government the right to legislate speech, it ends badly. It's never ended well. So I just want to make sure that we, maybe we can move on to, to another issue yeah. of discussion. You believe that these countries are better than the United States because they have socialized health care. And it seems to me like you believe that they're better than the United States because they don't have freedom of speech. Well, no, I wouldn't say that. I mean, like, I feel like no country has done freedom of speech stuff correctly. I'll say that. I would say the United States. Because, like, I'll say, like, the woman who is jailed be when she has, like, a... Ch child and a breastfeeding kid because she called a trans woman a man she shouldn't have been jailed like that's not okay like I feel like there's a like it's ma'am <laughs> you saw that video too yes I did now is that a slur I'm making fun of that oh, guy no 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 I feel like but he does trans, trans women aren't oppressed well he feels that way they yeah, feel he that does. way they're, they're language but they're laws white men for the most part what if it's a black transgender they're men for who, the most who wins part. The, who wins the oppression Olympics if it's a black transgender with rickets? <laughs> <laughs> the point is, you can't deter... These are, this is the problem with identity politics, right? You just said, well, no, 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 hold on a second. So, uh, because he's a white man, he's not oppressed. Well, he thinks that. And you have these bills, you have these pieces of legislation that are being proposed that would outlaw misgendering people. I mean, you see that in Canada. And that's right? an awful thing. Why is it awful? Not, that's not a... Oppression. They see it as oppression. <laughs> because someone called them the wrong gender. I've, I've been called a dude before, multiple times. I don't know why. Maybe that was a guy who was hitting you on the scooter. It could have been drunk. I would never confuse you for a dude. <laughs> but, like, that's so what? Like, that's not the same as, like, s someone tried to, like, someone But they want to literally like, take your rights away. They want to do the exact same thing to you that you want to do to people who might use the word or f yes, you understand? I've been hit before with the word d being hurled at me. But they've been hit with someone calling them a tranny. Or they've been hit with, God See, forbid, being called be a man. Called. 
being called man instead of ma'am. The point is they want to do the exact same thing to you, remove your right to speak as you would do with other people. Do you see the danger in that? And who determines that line? I see line? there is a danger in it, but I feel like the thing is really it just comes down to, in the most part, like people just don't care about each other is the thing. Like that's why I feel like there should be regulations. Okay, it doesn't seem like you're super clear on what the regulation should be at this point. It's a very fine line to walk is the thing. I don't think so it it's is. It's a very hard thing. Like, I don't think it is. I, I, would, I would fight uh, with every fiber of my being your right to say whatever it is that you want to say, offensive or not, as I would hope people would fight for my right to say it. I believe free speech is absolute. I do not believe that places like the UK or countries like my uh, place where I was raised in Canada uh, have it right. I think they have it wrong. I think it's an atrocity. I think it's a violation of human rights, one of the most fundamental human rights. And I think that far and away is what makes the United States the greatest country in the world, along with also really good health care and a kick-ass military. But thank you so much. Was it Elise? Elise. Thank you, Elise. I really appreciate it. Thank you for being civil. And I'm sorry that someone hit you with a scooter, a scooter, a scooter and called you a name. I would never do that. USA! 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 Oh, you're still here. I'll chalk that up to our fantastic retention rate. If you enjoyed this uh, installment of Change My Mind, please consider clicking on one of these boxes, I can't see where they are, to watch another installment. Or I'd highly recommend considering uh, joining Mug Club at lightwithcrowder.com slash mug club. Not only do you get access to the full daily show and content that you can't see here on YouTube, but because we were recently entirely demonetized, it's the only thing that keeps this kind of content going. So uh, we appreciate your support as public enemy number one of YouTube. We're learning how to navigate these waters. Maybe if we were more effective at transgender makeup tutorials or more advertiser-friendly podcast about transgender makeup tutorials.